Okay, we got a MacBook Air here. The uh, light comes on in the jack, as we can notice here. Uh, we'll unplug it, plug it back in. Well, complete unplug, plug it back in here. And we see that there's a strong full light. So, what we're going to do is push the power button on the keyboard. And we see nothing is happening. So we know that it's something to do with the logic board, uh, power button, power switch, keyboard, or some other component. So what we're going to do is start breaking this down to see if there's any water damage or corrosion or anything on it. And then go from there. We also know that the uh, battery, it should be trying to charge the battery and go to orange. It's staying solid green, so it's probably not sensing the battery. So we're going to go from there and see what we find. Okay, so we have our uh, system taken apart and everything like that and ready to go for testing. Um, now, what we're trying to do is find out... Uh, you know, we're pushing the power button over here and the keyboard doesn't turn turn the fan on. Fan on, fan isn't turning on. We're seeing that the uh, light is on. Gonna do like this on the jack. So, what we're going to do is uh, ground it out. And what we have is a uh, PWR uh, button here. So we're going to touch it right here and find out that that's the ground. So we're going to touch it over here on the side and we see that the light turns on on our uh, continuity tester. No fan. So we can do one of two things. This is a MacBook 15 inch trick. Um, you can take here and short out the keys on the unit we see that it turns on fans on and what we're going to see is that the light on the back of the Mac turns on and we have the unit turning on so we'll unplug this plug it back in we get our solid green light again just to make sure now we could do it another way too We'll take and hook it up to the ground on the battery connector. Well, we can't really can't really get it to do it. And we just take and hit the button here. We should get it to turn on. One moment, we'll put the camera down for a second so it can get a good contact, but you'll be able to hear it happen. There should be uh, no issues with it. Well, I did earlier, but nonetheless, we know that we can do it uh, those two ways. We get the ground here, if we make a full contact and are able to do it here, we could still hook it up to the board like we did, ground it out to the case, and then take and stroke along the keys and get the same results. So we know that it works that way. We'll see it. We'll hear a chime here in a second. And we'll see the light turn on. That's a 15 inch MacBook trick. Uh, we'll reach the camera around here and see that we got the screen turning on, which we do. We just don't have the hard drive in it. So now we would flip this up side down you know and show everything the right way but we can't do that because 
we don't have everything pinned down and the guts will fall out. And quite honestly, that's because the keyboard is testing bad. But we see that the uh, folder is showing that. And that's because we don't have the solid state hard drive in there because it's right here in our hand. So, uh, most likely we're seeing that the uh, system is having issues because of that. Now, we can test the battery real quick. by plugging it in so we plug the battery in let's unplug this and it's still running batteries plugged in it's going high fans but that's because we have uh, no heat sinks on top of these uh, controllers here so what we're going to do is unplug the uh, battery just to turn it off and we have our thing here uh, for our power adapter plug it back in and we got strong light so we know that the keyboard seems to be our major issue on that and um, that's just our preliminary checks and everything like that but that's what we're finding so far